Hi everyone, it's Jessie with a special Valentine's Day edition of Storytime. Arthur's Great Big Valentine by Lillian Holden. It was a snowy Valentine's Day. Arthur was getting ready to go out. He put on his boots and his scarf. He put on his hat and his mittens. Violet was making Valentines. She drew red and yellow flowers and big red hearts. I am making 10 Valentines, she said. Five for my best friends and five for my not so best friends. How many are you making, Arthur? None, said Arthur. I don't have any best friends. I thought Norman was your best friend, said Violet. He was, said Arthur, but he got mad when I played Tarzan. I was swinging from the branch where he was sitting. The branch broke and he fell down and ripped his new jacket. Now he has a secret club and will not let me be in it. You could make valentines for your not so best friends, said Violet. All of my not so best friends are in Norman's secret club, said Arthur. I think I will go have a snowball fight by myself. You can't have a snowball fight by yourself, said Violet. Yes, I can, said Arthur. Watch me. Arthur went outside. He made a snowball and threw it high in the air. Then he ran fast so he would be under the snowball when it came down. But he did not run fast enough. The snowball came down, splat, right in front of him. Well, said Arthur, Lots of times I am under it when it comes down, so I can have a snowball fight by myself. I will have a snowball fight with you, said Violet. I'll, I will be your friend. Little sisters can't be your friend, said Arthur. They cry if a snowball hits them. I promise not to cry if you promise not to pack your snowballs too hard, said Violet. Okay, said Arthur, I promise. Violet ran to get her coat and hat and mittens and boots. Arthur practiced hitting himself with snowballs. He threw a snowball high and ran very fast, but when the snowball came down, Arthur was not under it. Wilma was coming down the path and Wilma was under it. Splat! The snowball landed right on Wilma's head. That was not very nice, Arthur, said Wilma. I came over to invite you and Violet to my Valentine party, but maybe I will just invite Violet. I don't care, said Arthur. Who else is coming to your party? Norman and his little brother Tony, said Wilma, and Peter and John and Sally and Tessa. Then I would not come anyway, said Arthur. Wilma, called Violet, do you want to have a snowball fight with me and Arthur? I can't, said Wilma. I am giving out invitations to my Valentine party. She gave Violet a big red heart. It said, my Valentine party. It had a blue balloon pasted on it. Inside, there was a picture of pink frosted cookies and little heart-shaped candies and a vanilla ice cream. Underneath the picture, it said, the candy is red, the balloons are blue. It will be a great party if you can come too. Arthur looked at the picture, then he made another snowball. Where is Arthur's invitation? asked Violet. I do not want one, said Arthur quickly. Norman is coming to the party, so I can't. That is a shame, said Wilma. We are having cinnamon candy and pink frosted cookies and vanilla ice cream and hot chocolate. You should make up with Norman. Norman will not speak to me, said Arthur. I can't make up with him. You should give Norman a valentine, said Wilma. Then you could be friends again. I made 10 valentines, Violet said to Wilma. The best one is for you because you are my best friend. I will bring it to the party. Can I see the other valentines, asked Wilma. Okay, said Violet. Violet and Wilma started toward the house. Hey, yelled Arthur. I thought we were having a snowball fight. I will be back soon, called Violet. Phooey, said Arthur. 
Little sisters are no fun. Arthur sat down. He drew a heart in the snow. Inside the heart, he wrote, Violet, you are no fun, and this is true. If I had a friend, it would not be you. Hey, Arthur, called Peter. Is Violet at home? Peter was pulling a sled. On the sled, there was a box. Inside the box, there were big and little envelopes. What are those? asked Arthur. Valentine's, said Peter. I made a whole bunch that I am selling. I deliver for free if you buy one. I have a whole stack to deliver to Violet. Peter looked in the box. He pulled out all the envelopes that were marked Violet. Are there any for me? asked Arthur. Peter looked in the box again. Nope, he said, not one. But you could buy some and send them to yourself. Here, these are two for 25 cents. Peter took out a valentine and showed it to Arthur. It was a heart-shaped flower with a picture of a bee on it. It said, be my valentine and I will call you honey. Pretty cute, isn't it? Said Peter. You could send a couple of these to yourself. I'm not sending any valentines to myself, yelled Arthur. Okay, okay, said Peter. I just thought you might like to get one. Peter went to deliver Violet's valentines. Arthur sat down again. He drew another heart in the snow. Inside the heart, he wrote, Valentines are stupid. Some people get many. I don't care if I never get any. Plop! Some snow trickled down Arthur's neck. Someone bumped against his back and tumbled over him. It was Norman's little brother, Tony. Hey! yelled Arthur. Why don't you watch where you're going? I am sorry, Arthur, said Tony. I did not see you because I was walking backward. Well, turn around and walk frontward, yelled Arthur. I can't, said Tony. I am making backward tracks in the snow to trick Norman so he will think I went the other way. Arthur looked at Tony's tracks. That is pretty neat, he said. It does look like you went the other way. Why do you want to trick Norman? Because he made a secret valentine and I know the secret, said Tony. Now he is after me, so I will not tell before he delivers it. Who is Norman's valentine for? asked Arthur. I will tell you if you promise not to tell Norman, I told, he said. That is easy, said Arthur. I never tell Norman anything anymore. Do you promise? asked Tony. I promise, said Arthur. Cross your heart and hope to die, asked Tony. Cross my heart and hope to die, Arthur said. Okay, said Tony, and he whispered something in Arthur's ear. Arthur opened his eyes very wide. Do you mean it? he asked. You promise not to tell, said Tony. Oh boy, oh boy, said Arthur. I have to do something about this, fast. Arthur started to walk away. You promised, yelled Tony. Cross your heart and hope to die. I know, said Arthur, and I am not telling. Then where are you going, asked Tony. I am not going anywhere, said Arthur. I am just making tracks in the snow. Watch me. Violet and Wilma came outside. What are you doing, Arthur? asked Wilma. He is making tracks in the snow, said Tony. Arthur is making a big heart with his tracks, said Violet. He is making a valentine. Arthur made a big heart in the snow. Inside the heart, he wrote a poem. Just as Arthur finished, Norman came down the path. He was holding a big white envelope. When he saw Arthur's valentine, he stopped and read it. You are my pal and my buddy too. Please be my friend, Norman. I really miss you. Do you really mean it, Arthur? He asked. I really mean it, Arthur said. Well, said Norman, I have a valentine for you too. Norman gave Arthur the envelope. Inside there was a big red heart. On the heart there was a picture of red and blue flowers. 
Under the picture it said, Arthur, roses are red, violets are blue. I wish we were friends again. There is no one like you. Oh boy, said Arthur, oh boy. Now Arthur can come to the Valentine party, said Violet. That's right, said Wilma, if he promises not to throw any more snowballs at me. But Arthur promised to have a snowball fight with me, said Violet. Arthur looked at Norman. Norman looked at Arthur. Let's go, buddy, yelled Arthur. Come on, pal, yelled Norman. Me too, me too, shouted Tony. I get first shot, called Violet. She made a big snowball and threw it. It landed splat on Arthur's head. So they all had a big snowball fight and Wilma joined in too. Then they went to Wilma's Valentine party. They had ice cream and cinnamon candy and frosted cookies and hot chocolate. This is my best Valentine's Day, said Arthur. He made a big heart with the cinnamon candies in his vanilla ice cream. And inside the heart, he wrote, friends. <laughs>